Praise God, saints. I want to thank God for being God. And I want to thank God for every human being that God created. Again, we all have idiosyncrasies. We all have our ups and our downs. What I want to say on today is that I disagree with racial tension. I disagree with schism in this world, period, because I know God disagrees with it. Let me read this. Be submissive to every human institution and authority for the sake of the Lord, whether it be to the emperor as supreme or to governor as sent by him to bring vengeance, punishment, or justice to those who do wrong and to encourage those who do good service. For it is God's will and intention that by doing right, your good and honest lives, should silence or muddle, gag, the ignorant charge, and ill-informed criticism of foolish persons, or live as free people, yet without employing your freedom as a pretext for wickedness, but live at all times as servants of God. Show respect for all men. Treat them honorably. Love the brotherhood, the Christian fraternity, of which Christ is the head. Reverence God. Honor the emperor. You who are household servants, be submissive to your master with all proper respect, not only to those who are kind and considerate and reasonable, but also to those who are surely overbearing unjust and crooked for one is regarded favorable is approved acceptable and thanksworthy if as in the right as in the sight of God he endures the pain of unjust suffering after all what kind of glory is there in it if when you do wrong and are punished for it you take it patiently. But if you bear patiently with suffering, which results, when you do right, and that is undeserved, it is acceptable and pleasing to God. For even to this were you called. It is inseparable from your vocation. For Christ also suffered for you leaving for you his personal example so that you should follow in his footsteps. 1 Peter 2, 13-21, the Amplified Version. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We are all called to live according to a much higher standard than the world. And those of us in the body who are in position of leadership whether apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, or teachers are called to an even higher standard than the laity of the church. Therefore, the prevailing question for Christians today is, how are we to respond to the racial tension and turmoil taking place in our nation today? Remember, the Bible has all the answers for us. The answer is simple. We are to be the light of the world and the sword of the earth. However, we cannot be salt and light apart from the word of God. Remember, the word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. First and foremost, we are called to pray. However, after we pray, we must seek out God's wisdom found in the scriptures so that we will not become guilty of following the evil ways of the world, which we know are many. Concerning racial tension, 
We are not to take side of either the blacks or the whites. We as Christians are to take the side of righteousness and truth found only in the written word of God. We must show respect and honor to all men, especially those in positions of authority. We are not to hate or criticize white policemen or politicians. We disagree with or disapprove of. We are to show respect to all leaders, whether civic, state, or national, and teach our children to do the same. Our respect for authority is not based on their level of integrity and or justice. The Bible clearly states in the above passage that we are to honor all men, whether they are just or unjust, and that if we suffer unjustly, then God will, out, will honor and bless us. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are not supposed to be calling people names. And we have to stop the gossips and the insults. Brothers and sisters, we are not always right. And sometimes leaders make mistakes. So on today, I just want to address that racism of any kind should be done away with. You know, for nearly 12 months, I make sure I put up black history so we would know the history of our people. But as a former soldier, I know that we don't want to get in a battle between the whites and the black. God does not want that, and we don't want that. Right now, we're at war, and we're fighting a battle that really isn't ours. And we're losing our youth, our sons and our daughters. We're, lo we're losing our youth to terrorists. And they're right here in this country. And the only thing I could say is to show love for people that hate us. And maybe in turn, if we show them love, they will turn around and learn how to love us. Praise God. So... I end this message on this note. Love one another as Christ have loved us. And be neutral. Get all the facts. And if by any way I have made it seem like I'm on the black side or the white side. I say to you on today, I'm on Christ's side. Amen. Have a bless have a blessed day.